go see about the status of the election. Hi. Hi there. Uh, I need to see about some election staff. I got an email from you guys about the writing campaign saying that uh, you don't count the writing votes. Are you Gavin? Yeah. Okay, right. And then I responded to your email this morning. Did you get that? No, I haven't. I just figured I'd come in. I haven't seen that. So I just figured I'd come in this morning and take care of it and make sure I understood what's going on here. So when you, if you want to file as a candidate, as a write-in candidate and have your, your votes count, counted as a certified write-in, we can do that. But you have to file during the filing period and you were too late for that. Yeah, I called you guys specifically mm -hmm. and said, okay, we know we're too late, but here's my information. Are we good? Is they going to be counted? And you assured me that they would be counted when I called in. And they were counted. And they are included in the 65 unresolved. Mm -hmm. So they're counted, but I don't get to see what the count is? We don't have to unless, let's see. I'll tell you exactly what my email said. And that's... Like I said, you had to file, you missed the deadline. Right, but the deadline so, is a nowhere requirement under the Washington State RCW. It's optional for fi filing as a write-in. Under the RCW, you may file as a write-in candidate. That's true. Um, if you're recording me, I will not speak to you. Well, you're definitely being recorded. Okay, well, then I'm not going to speak to you. Okay, well, you can get me somebody that will speak to There's me. There's nobody here right now. Okay, well, I don't know what to tell you because if you, this is your if if this is your shift, I mean, I, I just want this on the record to make sure I know what's what with all of this. So I'm not going to speak to you and be recorded. Well, you actually already are. Well, that's okay. I'm done then. <laughs> I'm just coming in to get information. This is ridiculous, ma'am. If you can't do your job, get someone who can, please. There's nobody else here. And I'm then do be your job. And be one of your people that you put on the internet. You're making yourself look silly. I'm just trying to clarify the you information. You make yourself look silly. I make myself look silly. Yes, you do. How is that? By trying to hold government accountable? You know, this isn't even about so much whether I won the mayoral election, because I know we've, we had a late writing campaign. It's just simply a matter of accountability and making sure that everything's on the up and up. And while I don't doubt that you have a loophole in the law somewhere that allows you to not count my ballots, uh, that, that seems pretty shady to me. And if you counted them, why can't I get the ballot count? So I guess if you're, if you're putting your government on the record <laughs> in this office, that uh, they don't have to give you customer service. Where's Michelle Jitterland? Isn't she the new auditor that we elected? Yeah, her office is next door and she's not in. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to need you to explain to me what's going on because we are going to have it on the record. Okay, I sent you an email. No, so you're going to talk to me. I'm not it's not a request, ma'am. I'm not going to be on your recording, so... It's not a request. You work in this office and you need to do your job. It's not I'm my being, job I'm to be, be recorded and be It is your job to be on the record. You to show everybody. It is your job to be on the record. And I'm not necessarily blaming you if, if uh, the auditor is making shenanigans of this, but you are going to be on the record and it's only you that's making yourself look silly. All you have to do is be polite and professional like I'm being to you. What's your name? Okay, so let me just clarify this. You guys aren't counting my votes and you refuse to talk to me. Is that correct? I sent you an email, you can read the email. I don't know what the email says, I haven't seen it. And I want you on the record. I guess the office, honors office is mine now, guys. I mean, <laughs> nobody's here. <laughs> it's empty. There we go. Listen, here's the thing. We ran a late writing campaign in this small town and we promoted it pretty well. We caused a lot of conversation in the community. And I ran, not because I, 
really had this great desire to be afraid of mayor at all. I didn't. But because we, the people, need to step up. We need to step up when there's corruption in our communities, like in Afraid of like in Grant County. Everything is shenanigans now. Everything's a game. Government refuses to be accountable for anything. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. And so you need to kind of ask yourselves the questions, well, what's your government doing? And should they be held accountable for that? You know, you come into the office like this, and I just want some answers of what is admittedly pretty dumb. <laughs> oh, you don't get your votes counted. I got an email last Friday, I think it was, it says, well, you have to pay us if you want your votes counted. You're going to have to pay for a recount. Now, according to her, they actually counted the votes, but I don't get to see those. So it's just, it's just more extortion. It's more games. And I'm guessing that if the number of write-ins you know, were, were more than for the, the guy that was on the ballot, then they'd kind of be forced into counting them. But who knows, maybe they'd have an excuse then too why my votes don't count. We still have an empty auditor's office. There's no bell. Ding, 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 ding. If you don't vote, you can't complain. I like this sign because now I can complain, right? So I tried to come and complain, and I think I did it pretty nicely to the young lady. But uh, she freaked out because she was being recorded and ran off. If you don't vote, you can't complain. If I do vote, or if I don't, either way, I can complain. But I did, and this is my government, and this is our constitution, and this is our children's liberty. And the problem is it's not just a conversation about one little local thing or one little mayoral's race or one judge. It's all over America. You know, we sit around and we, we say, well, look at, look at what terrorists are doing. We need to go to war. We need to do this. We need to do that. The war on liberty is right here at home. It's coming every single day from police and judges and government and corrupt officials and lackeys who just follow whatever they're told the greatest bureaucratic terrorism. The assault on the citizenry is happening right here in America. And that's what we need to fix. We need to get our own house in order. We need to repent right here at home. We need to get back to values and God and liberty and principle. Because if we don't do that, our children will certainly be slaves. There's all these, all these colorful, great posters about, about your speech and your liberty. Go freedom! And then I come in and I say, well, I have some questions and I want it on the record and I want to know why my votes aren't being counted. And they say, well, I'm not talking to you. You're gonna have a camera on. Folks, that's not customer service. It's not serving, protecting. It's not liberty, it's not freedom. It's not even what these posters are saying. Start holding government accountable. Hey, great, I'm glad you're back. Not to talk to you or not. What is your problem? You know, you can leave the office and I can come sit in your desk and do your job for you. Yeah, I'm sure you could. <laughs> well, thank I'm leaving, you. So you'll need to go out. No, I'm not going out until I get. Well, is this office closed at this time of day? I'm leaving right now. So There's I no office hours here? Do you have office hours? Please go out so I can lock the door. Once we finish our conversation, yes. I'm not having a conversation. You just need to answer you. the questions about why my votes aren't being counted. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not trying to be rude to you. I'm being very patient considering you're acting so ridiculous and rude to me. If you want some answers on a recording, you can speak to my boss when she's in. I'm not going to If your be boss recorded. doesn't work today, that's not my problem. You are a public servant, ma'am, and you work in this office. And I don't have to be recorded. Are you out of your mind, lady? You are. Oh, no. <laughs> Holy She just attacked me. I've never seen anything like this and well I've seen it from police, but <laughs> unbelievable. Aren't you a security guard here? Uh, did you see her just attack me? Basic security. Yeah. Did you see her just attack me? I did. Is that normal here? Uh, no. Is there anything you can do about it? Um, I'm not trying to like put you on the spot. I know you're not a sheriff, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm just basically here. It's not under my jurisdiction. But. Okay, well, would you. This is kind of awkward. Um, can you maybe call a sheriff up here? 
Um, I can talk to the front desk. Just have them send the sheriff up, and I just want to let them know what's going on. I mean, because the, the auditor's office has abandoned the office after assaulting me, which is pretty unprofessional. I mean, I'm not hurt or anything, but come on. What we're seeing here is employees with no self-control, no sense of serving the people, no sense of accountability, you know. As I understand it, I think they found a loophole in the law that says, well, there's not enough write-in votes to overcome the other candidates, so therefore we don't have to count them. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. But what I came in here today is I want them on the record. I want them saying what's going on, and I want there to be accountability. This lady can't deal with that. She freaks out. Now, it's bad enough that she abandons her post and ignores me and leaves when the office is open. I mean, it's crazy. And then she physically attacks me. I'm kind of speechless. I really am. And I think it's important that we know that this kind of stuff, to varying degrees, normally, you know, we see it with police or judges, things like that, people flying off the handle. But it's happening at all levels of government because there's not any training for respect. There's no respect for liberty. There's no respect for the Constitution. And all I did here is said, okay, I know they probably have a law. I'm going to come in. I just want them to be accountable. I want them to be on the record. This seems shady. What's going on? Why are my votes being counted? And get that on video so I could put it out there and explain to everybody what's happening here. Maybe it's just, maybe it's the suit. But I'm already married, lady. So hands off, all right? Vote Freedom America. Unless we don't want to count your votes because we don't really like you and we're not going to talk to you on camera because we clearly disdain you because we don't like that you hold this office and this county accountable because we've seen your videos on YouTube and we're not going to be made into a spectacle by your camera. So we're going to attack you and take your camera away. That seems sensible. It's just like, I, you know, it's like dinner and a show and at the same time I'm heartbroken that this is the behavior of the civil servants in our country. I just talked to the front desk. Um, she said that there are no uh, sheriff deputies that are available at the moment. They're on calls, and the administrators, I believe, are. Uh, I don't remember specifically what they say, but like, they're not available at the moment. Um, okay. I apologize for the inconvenience. Well, what am I supposed to do? I mean, I have an empty auditor's office. It's business hours, and. I guess you probably don't have an answer to that any more than I do. <laughs> I'm just curious. I don't know much. Okay. Well, why don't would you do me a favor and tell the front desk that I'm sitting here in an empty auditor's office mm -hmm. and I either want an auditor in here or a sheriff in here. And until then, I guess I'm the auditor. <laughs> because nobody's auditing in here. Yeah. And so I'm I'm just waiting. Okay. Well, yeah. Um and just let them know, because I'm assuming there's got to be some a sheriff. The sh Jones has to be in, or one of the, the under sheriff. Somebody's got to be back there. I mean, I know you guys, in case there's an incident, there's sheriffs around that can report. I, it sounds like they just really don't want to deal with me. <laughs> and, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to make them look stupid. I just want them to do their job. Mm -hmm. I understand that. I'll, okay. I'll talk just, just let them know, and I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I know this isn't your normal job description. Listen. You know, I come to these places, and I know that people aren't real fond of, you know, being called out for an issue, or you're on YouTube, things like that. And as long as they're cordial, I'm trying to be polite and cordial with them. It's like the security guard out here. He's doing what he can, the young man, and, and he's really polite, and I'm going to be really polite to him. But if you're a public official and you're not doing your job, number one, and then you start flying off the handle because you're being held accountable for that, it's only you embarrassing yourself. It's not me. I'm sitting here, I'm being polite and professional. I mean, it, I'm dealing with a lady. I'm trying to treat her like a lady. And I don't know what else I can do. We've, we've got such a lawless mindset from our public officials. And really it's our fault. It's the people's fault because we are apathetic. We keep saying, well, that sounds good. That sounds easy. That sounds free. Let's, let's just vote for that. And we're not electing people with boldness and tenacity that want to serve and that want to stir things up. That's why it's hard for people like me to get elected. We're not electing people that represent. 
We're just electing people that think they're the masters and we're the serfs. And that doesn't work for me. It's called in some backup. I grant. That's my brother. Well, I don't really know what to do here. Um, oh, there's another backup. There's Blake. Good. He went to the front desk and said, we want a sheriff. Right here, right here. They came back and said, Can I help you? Yeah, are you with the auditor's office? Uh-huh. Oh, great. They, she abandoned her post. Well, who's this lady here? Um, Trish. Trish? Okay, and you are? Lori. Lori. I'm Gavin. Hi. Um, what I came in for is just to find out what the deal is. Trish, I believe, sent me an email and said that your writing votes aren't going to be counted unless you pay. And so... No. Well, that's what she said. I know there's some banter about the law and there's some ins and outs of it. And I guess the loophole you're looking at is that there's not enough write-in votes to overcome the primary candidate vote that was on the ballot, and therefore you don't have to count them? Is that the idea? I mean, Well, no, they are counted. So why can't I get them? I didn't even get them. She said I can't get my votes. You mean a copy of the count? Yeah, unless I pay for a recount. So what is Because it was a write-in. It was a late write-in election. Yeah, afraid of mayor. Right. Well, you, as and, I recall, the deadline was missed. Right, and but I called so, the office. The deadline's not a requirement under the RCW. It's it's you may file, but since I couldn't file, I called the office and I gave you guys my name and you said, "Yeah, that's fine. They'll be counted." And so everything appeared to be okay. And then they're saying, "Well, we're not going to count." Well, yeah. So we have Let's see. Where is the mayor's position? I mean, my dispute is not that I got a ton of so votes. there were 65 write-ins. Okay, now what happened, see, when I came in a week ago, there was 300 and something unresolved. What happened to those? The numbers seem to be going down. Under votes. Okay. Those are votes that, uh, those are ballots that it, they weren't marked at all. Okay, so the question is, were these counted? Are these write-ins for me? I mean, that's fine. I'm sure a portion of them are. So I just want the count. I mean, how many votes you got? Yeah, I just want the write-in count. And so, but the issue is, this lady freaked out on me, physically attacked me, trying to take the camera. It's on here, and the security guard saw it. And so, first she left the room, because I said, no, I'm going to film. I was being well, like I am with you. I know you guys... I prefer you now. I know, but it's you guys are public servants, and we film public servants when we do these kind of things. That's just how it works. And so, then she leaves, leaves the auditor's office to me. I guess I'm the new auditor, and... Then she's mad because I'm filming, and she jumps me and tries to take the camera and then flees the room. I mean, is this how we do business here? No, but it's very rude to film. Someone it's not very rude. Want to be filmed. No, you're a public official. It's not rude. It's accountability for well, government. I mean, it's not light. The only the only thing that makes you guys look silly when you're being filmed is if is if you don't serve well. That's the only problem. I'm not in here picking a fight. Yeah. Well, apparently she did. It's a good thing I didn't defend myself because she wasn't very big. The thing is, you can request. Um, well, I really don't know. Like I said, so I, she I haven't been here that long in this office, so I don't know what the. Yeah, I mean, I was is. I was told that I would have to pay for a recount to get my votes, and I mean, that seems pretty ridiculous to me. And I'm not going to pay for a recount. Well, the thing is, we have to go hand through thirty six thousand. You said you already counted them. Did you not count my votes when they were done? Aren't they scanned or? They're scanned. They're counted. They're not separated. Well, first of all, there's not 36,000 votes in Afreda. There's only a few thousand. Well, how many ballots? We're have? only talking about Afreda, though. You wouldn't well, have to recount. Well, but they're within those ballots. But you counted them. They're on this list. I just need to know how many are for me. I can't tell you that. Why? Well, Isn't that part of the election not process? Tallied. So do you mean you don't know? Or, I... or no, who, who can tell us? I mean, is the... Can the, can the auditor tell us? I don't know. You'll okay. have to ask somebody who has more knowledge of that than I. Okay, well, where's the auditor? That's Jaderlin, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe we should, can we get her down here? Is she around? Is she in town? in the office today. Considering what just happened, she might want to get down to the office. Okay, could I, could you please not film? No, mm -hmm. I'm not going to not film. We've been over no, this. You to leave and I'm no, to you're, I'm not going to leave. I'm going to film and I want my questions answered. Well, I, I can't answer. I even so called for a sheriff, and be, um, after your you officer, I called for a sheriff. They haven't shown up because they're busy, I guess, too. I mean, is everyone afraid of me? I'm really not that mean of a guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid of you. It's you're being pushy. 
I'm not being pushy. I don't have answers for you. I don't know what else and, I, and that's fine. If you're new and you don't have answers, that's fine. I'm not being pushy. I'm not the one that's been assault. I mean, I'm not the one that's been assaulting people here today. If you don't have the answers, that's fine. Get somebody who can. I came in a week ago to ask this. You guys knew I would be wanting these answers. And she knows, I think. Well, and there's another thing. We can't go through them yet. It's not even finalized. And until it is, we don't do any recap. And that's fine. And I'm not even asking a recount. All you got to do is tabulate the votes for the write-ins. I'm coming in here today. They're right there. So those are all my votes. I don't know. No, those are all the write-in votes. Okay. Well, that that's not really a count. I mean, that's a starting point. That shows that you have the votes. Um, you know, this lady, if she had done her job, we would be gone by now. She simply had to answer some questions so I could figure out what was going on. I'm going to do everything on the record because it seems kind of shady to me that I have to pay to get my votes. So obviously I'm going to have this on the record. Okay, she's good. Okay. Okay, so for determining write-in votes, we uh -huh. to tally them. Okay. So we have Two a steps. single candidate race. Uh-huh. Which this was not. A general election. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it was a single candidate candidate race to begin with. Oh, I see what so, you're saying. Yeah. Okay. So for a general election, when the number of potential write-in votes exceeds the number of votes cast for the single candidate, the individual write-in votes must be tallied. So, and they were not. So what you're saying is because I didn't get enough votes, then my votes don't get counted. Well, we count them, but they do not change it. Change is it? Is from what I'm... I understand. And look, I mean, I've studied the law too, and I know you guys are finding I loopholes on this. I studied the law. Okay, well, and that's based in some form on the RCWs. And it's pretty shady to me that you don't count votes if I didn't, you didn't get enough votes, therefore we didn't don't count your votes. But really, I just came in here to clarify what's going on so I can inform people of the status. Well, Gavin, you really need to go higher than me, and I think even, especially me. <laughs> okay, so is it... it you have the 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 the, the, the write-ins. I mean, you have this number on here. Can somebody just count them and give me a number? Like I said, I can't. I don't okay. Know. When I have someone in the office to give me that information, right. I'll let you know. Well, and that's what I came in for a week ago is to check this, and they said, oh, you just need to come back on the day that we finalize or whatever you call it, certify. And that's the 24th. Right, and so I thought we were good, and then she sent me an email, said, oh, no, we don't count unless you pay two to $400 for us to recount. I think she was asking that you want, assuming that maybe that you wanted to recount. Well, no, she would, I just want my numbers is all I want, and I think that's a reasonable request. Okay, well, so you I, have to wait until after certification. Yeah, but what you're, I feel like it's getting put off because what you're saying is, what I'm being told is, well, we're not really going to count your votes because there's not enough. So, well, the question is, do you know this? I mean, I mean, am I correct in that? That's that's what I'm understanding. Gavin, I'm done arguing with you. Um, this I isn't an argument. I need to, I, I've told you what I know. I don't know anything else. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to assume that at this point, since the lady that freaked out over here is, is saying that. Can you just tell the auditor, can we get my votes counted? I mean, really, I just want a number of, uh, an official number of the votes. So pass that on. If you guys can't handle that, I mean, it's not worth picking a fight over, I guess, because it doesn't look like the numbers are yeah, high enough. something, please? Okay. Would you please not put that out there? I would rather not be. I, I'm gonna, I'll go through the video, and my goal is not to make you look silly. I mean, trust me, you're not gonna have to worry after what she did. That is not a thing to put out there either. Her attacking me? What, what do you want me here. to... I know you weren't here, but the security guard saw it. It's all on here. That's why... Th there's a reason I film these things. Hello. Hello. Hey, so, I appreciate you trying, and my question's not really answered. Let the auditor know that I do want the count of, of the votes. I will let her know. And that if you don't count the votes, that despite the fact that you may have an RCW to support that, that does violate the principles of elections and the principles of law. And I would encourage her to count those votes anyhow. And this lady here, Shirley, I think you said her name is Trish. Trish. That kind of behavior, the disrespect for the citizenry in this office is not to be tolerated. And we're not going to tolerate it. When people come in here and they want service, they need to be served because that's your guys' job as public servants. And if you don't like that job, choose another job. But for her to physically attack me 
is absolutely unacceptable. And for her to leave her post and refuse to talk to me is unacceptable. I know you're not thrilled about this, but you have talked to me and I appreciate that. And I don't know what else to say. But if you have anything you want to add. Okay, well, have a good day. Okay, all right, well, there we are. Thanks for the backup. And it is what it is. I'm not really shocked that I didn't win the election. And honestly, I'm not really shocked at these shenanigans. I am a little shocked about being attacked in the auditor's office. That's new, but it's another day in the life. So take care.